everybody. Before I go to bed tonight, I decided I was going to show you some books that didn't make my... I think I got like a top 13. I think I narrowed it down to 13. I think. Even though, like I said, one of them is tied for first place. So, you know. But I didn't, you know, I just added those two together, of course. But, yeah. Um, I think I narrowed it down to 13, which I'll show you guys tomorrow. But, um, it might be 13 or 14. I can't remember. But I just thought I would do these few. They're not going to be in no particular order. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think eight that were honorable that are, that I want to mention that I liked. It just didn't quite make the top 13 because I, you know, I didn't want to have like, like 20 something favorites. <laughs> So, yeah. One of them is Not Even Bones by Rebecca Schaeffer. Schaeffer, how do you say her name? This was the one where um, her um, mom kills, like, superhuman people. People that have super, like, powers or whatever. Can do certain things. And then the daughter, like does all, like, you know, takes the, whatever it is, you know, what you call it, I don't know how to explain it. you know what I'm talking about, like, she takes the, the part that the mother wants, and they sell it, like, over the internet or something, I can't remember exactly, and she decides she wants to save this, the, um, one day, it doesn't bother her until one day her mom brings home a young, younger man that, um, that's still alive, because usually they're already dead, so it don't faze her, even though she knows that they're being killed, but, you know, but anyway, so, she helps him escape, and then she gets taken in his place, and talk about different things that happened to her. I was surprised how much I liked this, because I, in the time, I did not like Dexter. I know it's, like, a real popular it was a real popular show, and I know that's, like, a unpopular opinion, but, yeah, I never really cared for Dexter, so, I didn't think I would like this, but, oh my gosh, the twist and turns, it was really, it was, like, um, what was that book, uh, the Murder Trending, or whatever it's called, that was one of my least favorites, because I wanted it to be more creepier and stuff, well, this one was what I wanted it to be. It wasn't scary, but it was creepy, and it made me gasp a few times, and it really creeped me out a little bit, you know. That's what I wanted, to be creeped out, and not like a funny creeped out, where, you you know, where it's campy, but actual freaked out, and this did that to me. So, I have to mention this, but it just wasn't quite up to the level as the 13 that I'll show you guys tomorrow, but yeah, I really loved it still. Which is weird, because usually if I don't like characters either, like, I have to at least like one of the characters. I didn't like any of the characters in this either. So. But it just was so different than what I'm used to and stuff, and I think that's why. So, yeah. I definitely love this. And if you like, like, Dexter, I think, you, you know, and you like, you know, like, super human elements, and I will say, there is, um, like... The guy, one of the guys in here is like a cannibal, like cannibalism kind of, you know, like he eats, like eats parts of the body, like different parts of bodies and stuff. Oof, I know, <laughs> but yeah. So if that would freak you out, because yeah. And you know, this girl goes through a lot of crap. You might not like her because, you know, because she, she goes along with her, what her mother wants, but still you had to feel for her when this guy is like Ugh, like he is but it's weird because even though he was that way he was like the most interesting character to me so yeah i don't remember what his name name was her name's nita 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 something like that n-i-t-a t-a his name, I will tell you in a minute. 
Uh, let me see. Kovic? K-O-V-I-C? Or, wait a minute. No, K-O-V-I-T. So, that was definitely good. Uh, let's see. I'm trying not to... I don't... There's no really in particular order, so... Another one, which was a kid's, more like it was um, Catherine Arden. I've never read any of her other books, but this one was so much fun to read. It was a, It's the perfect Halloween book. There was another one, too, that I wanted to um, mention, but I cannot find the book, and I can't think of the name of it for the life of me. But there was another one that was really good, and I wanted to put in, in this as a, um, you know, but I just couldn't find the, the book so oh well but this one yeah it was definitely like there was some creep creepy factors in here i mean you know it was like perfect halloween read you know if you want to be a little creeped out and you want a short read something that you know is pretty fast because it only has like let me t i'll tell you i think it has like 212 or 17 or I don't know maybe 20 pages I don't know it has 216 pages and yeah it was creepy I mean as you could tell there's these bodies or scarecrows I can't remember if they were scarecrows I think they were scarecrows coming out of the um water and there's a scarecrow in the shadows right here with his face yeah it was pretty creepy for a little kid's book. The only thing I didn't like and why it didn't make another reason why it didn't make the, like, my 13, in my top 13, is because the ending. I wish the book would have been just a little big longer, and I wish the ending was a little bit tighter. I didn't like the way it ended, but the rest of the book was really, 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 really strong and really, really good. I mean, oh, my gosh. Because they're, like, on this like, she steals this book, and all this crazy stuff happens after she steals the book. This lady was going to throw it into the ocean, or or a, or a well or something. I can't remember what it was. Ocean well? I don't know what it was. Something. And before she could throw it in, the girl took it. And like I said, all this strange, crazy stuff starts happening, and then she's on the bus, and the bus driver which isn't usually the normal bus driver, tells her to run. And all this other stuff weird happens. Her and a couple other people are the only ones that got off the bus. Everybody else got taken because they didn't go off the bus like she was saying. So, yeah. <sighs> Let me get another sip of my water. Another book is Ace of Shades. It says, Take a card and stake your soul. Amanda Foodie? Amanda Foodie? I'm trying to remember exactly. I know I love this book. I just... It's been a while since I read it. So my brain is like, boop. Because as soon as I got this from Owl Crate, I read it. Because it really looked interesting. I mean, I love, like, you know, um... Like, stuff kind of like um, Six of Crows, you know, where there's a heist and stuff going on. I just love stuff like this. And I love the characters in this book. I especially like the guy, Levi. Levi. I loved him. I like Ina, too. Her mother goes missing, and she goes to Sin City. I guess that's what it is, right? Sin City? Yeah, City of Sin, Sin City, whatever. To try to find her, and all this stuff happens, and... Yeah, I'm not going to go too much into it because I don't want to do spoilers. But it was so much fun. I can't wait for the next book. I read, um, I think it's King of Fools or Something of Fools. The next one is called. And I cannot wait for it. I think it's going to be a real good book. I, I had like the sampler that I got from Owl Crate last or this month. I think it was. And I read the sampler and the sampler, like it was like 42 pages, 44 pages, something the sampler. And I was like, why couldn't I have had the whole book? So, yeah. So, the next one looks like it's going to be really good. But I love this one, you guys. I thought it was so good. It just wasn't as strong as the 13 I'm going to mention down below. But, oh my gosh. I mean, 
I loved, like I said, the characters so much. I liked the world. I liked the plot. It was interesting to find out what happened to her mother and some other secrets that you found out and stuff. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely is worth the read. Definitely. I know there's some I forgot, like I wanted other ones I wanted to mention, but didn't. I mean, I didn't grab them and I didn't want to make this video any longer than necessary. The next one is Stranger Dreamer. Freaking love Stranger Dreamer, you guys. It was like a four, four and a half stars. I know that don't seem like a lot. And some books that um, that didn't make my honorable mention. Or, you know, yeah, my honorable mention was actually higher than like a four, four and a half, whatever I gave it. But I think the reason why I didn't like it was the, the cliffhanger. And it took a little bit to get into it, but once I got into it, it was really good. But the cliffhanger I didn't like. But I love the world. I love Laszlo. I love, um, I always forget her name. I don't know why I always forget her name. It should be, like, one of the easiest names to remember. And I always forget it. Saria? 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 How do you say her name? I like Car. I liked, the only one I didn't like was Minnie? Minnie? Min? Something like that. She's the only one I didn't like, really. I liked even Errol Finn or Errol Peen, however you say his name was. Even the one that was kind of a jerko to Laszlo I liked towards the end. So, yeah. I just didn't really care for, like I said, Min or Minya. Mini. M-I-N. Let me find it. M-I-N-Y-A. I just didn't care for her. And I didn't like the ending, so that's what brought it down. Most of the ending. Yeah, I just did not like how it ended at all. But like I said, I love the world building. I love Laszlo. He was so awesome. I love guys that like to read books and that are dreamers like he is. Yeah, I still got to read Amuse and Nightmares, but I can't wait to read it. I know I started it, but never finished it. So it would definitely be a book for next year that I'm going to be reading. But yeah, I really enjoy this Stranger Dreamer. Let me get another sip of my water. Another one. And this one I don't remember much of what happened because it's been a while. Like I read it right away. But Immortal Range by Immortal Rain by Morgan Rhodes. I know like there's six books in it. I know a lot of people didn't like the way it ended, but I loved it. I thought it was really, really good ending. I definitely want to buy the other book because I only own, I think I owe the, own the first and this one, and that's it. The rest I read at the library, but I mean, I finished this series like this. Like, once I read the first one, the other ones just were like this, one after the other. I just went, like, got it from the, because my library had it where you can just download it onto your Kindle. I, mean, I went like this, you guys, through the series until, of course, you had to wait for this one to come out. A lot of people didn't like it because of how it ended, but I liked it. I really, really enjoyed it. I just, like I said, a lot of these books just didn't make it because the ones that I want to talk about are a lot stronger. But this one I liked. I really loved the characters. I liked the ending. I remember the fifth book ending and that major cliffhanger. And I liked what happened. You know, how everything ended up. I could, I do admit that it wasn't the most strongest book ending. But I still liked it. I mean, I thought it was really good. I wish I would have grabbed the first book because I don't remember how, exactly how to explain it like what it's about and I can't tell you from this because it would be spoiling it but I loved like Jonas one of the characters like oh my gosh I loved Magnus Magnus yeah it took me a little bit to get used to him because he was such an asshole at first 
And I didn't like at, him at first because of the person he was first liking. You know, it just seemed too incesty because he like consider like they consider she considers him like a brother and stuff. You know, and they were raised like brother and sister. And yeah, it just you know, but. And he treated the other girl like crap, um, Chloe. Yeah, he really treated Chloe like crap at first. But I loved the journey. I love that it wasn't instant, instant love. Yeah, I just thought it was a really good book. It just didn't make my favorites. Because like I said, the, the other books that I'm going to talk about are stronger. But, oh my gosh, I just thought... It was very interesting. I couldn't believe what happened at the end of the fifth book. I mean, oh my gosh. It left me gasping and wanted to know what happened in this one. And yeah, I just really, really loved Magnus. I love Chloe and Jonas. I mean, Jonas is my baby. I love Jonas, 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 Jonas. He is one cutie patootie. So, yeah, I really, I still really enjoyed it. I know that it could have been a lot tighter of an ending because it was the last book, you know. I can see why a lot of people didn't like the book, but I loved the character. I loved the world building. Yeah, so I really like it. I thought it was a lot of fun to read. Like I said, Magnus just stole my heart, especially in this book. Another one is Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. This is the one, like, her brother was supposed to have died in battle or something. And then, like, she's into a fight with, she gets into a, you know, they come and try to raid them or something. Or, I can't remember exactly, but she's, she, like, gets, like, almost taken. And... She sees her brother in the battle. And at first she thought, she, you know, he, her eyes were playing tricks on her and stuff. Or she was just seeing things. But then she actually gets captured. And knows for sure his her brother is alive. And she finds out what, what happened. Why, you know. To me, I liked it because I liked that. It was an instant love. And I like that the main focus wasn't on the relationship that she had with a certain person. But that it had a lot of action and stuff. It was more about the plot and finding out, like, what happened to her brother. How he wound up being on the side of the people that are supposed to be his enemy. And then what happens to her. And what leads up to, you know, everything that goes down at the end. Because a lot of badass stuff goes down at the end of this book. Yeah. This is another Owl Crate that I really, really, really loved. I didn't like... I had like a... Like with the Owl Crate, a lot of the books are either I really loved or didn't love. So this one was definitely I loved. Ace of Shades is I definitely loved. Yeah, but, yeah, so, there's other books like, uh, what is it, Shadow of a Fox that I didn't like. So, yeah, I thought this, I just thought, um, I forget her name. Eileen? Eileen? Alan? Something like that? I thought she was just so interesting. I don't know what it was about this book that, like, didn't make the top, that didn't want me to put it into, like, a top 13 or make a top 14. There's just something that I felt was missing. Like, maybe the ending could have been a little bit tighter. And, you know, it started out slow. Some people, like, said that they didn't think anything happened in the book, but I think a lot of things happened in the book. I know there was a lot of setup, but, you know, books have to have setups. And, yeah, I thought it was, like, a fast read. It didn't take long for me to read it at all. I was, like, right away transform transported into the world. 
I had so much fun reading it. Yeah, I just thought it was a really, really good book. And look at that cover. I thought um, Owl Crate did a real good job of this, uh, of how they changed the cover. I don't even remember what the other cover looked like, to be perfectly honest. But this is like, I just like, like, battles, and I like Vikings, and yeah. It's just one of those books that really, really intrigues me and makes me enjoy the story and yeah you know sometimes a book don't have to be uh, absolutely like the amazing to be a favorite of yours you know it could take a while to get into it but there could be something in there a character that you really like that love makes you love the book or a certain scene in the book that made you love it just like there could be a certain scene that makes you bleh, you know and turns you away from the book and after that scene you just want to throw it across the, the book across the room you know or wish that the person was real so you could punch the person you know this one was one of those ones where you didn't know too much about the main guy like the love interest but what I did know of him I liked I don't remember his name right now because like I said I read this when I first got it but yeah I still liked the main guy the love interest, so yeah. And like I said, I liked that he wasn't um, so instant lovey. I mean, once they decided they liked each other, then they really got to get, you know. But before that, yeah, they really couldn't stand each other, especially he couldn't stand her. But yeah, I liked it. Two more. The last one in A Conjuring of Lights. I read all three of them for the first time this year. I gave the first one uh, a shadow. What is it called? <laughs> My mind went blank. A Darker Shade of Magic, I gave the four star. Gathering of Shadows, I gave a three, I believe. Three and a half, something like that. And this one, I gave a five. Oh, I just, like, love this book. I loved Rice. I liked... Um... Yeah. Cal... Um, I thought Lila was pretty cool. I liked, uh, don't remember the guy's name, but, oh, Alcard, I think that's how you say it. Loved him. I have to say that I liked the side characters more. I loved Rice and, um, Arch, Arch how did I just said his name? Alcard, Alcard. Those two are like my favorite characters. Um, yeah, I just loved Rice. I just thought, oh my gosh, he's so cute. And he was just so lovable. And he was my cinnamon roll, as people say. Oh, like I was more rooting for him, Rice and Elkard, than I was for um, Cal and Lila. Lily? Lila? How do you say her name? To me, those two didn't have much chemistry. They were okay. I liked them more separately than together. But yeah, it was still like a really good book. But yeah, I think if I would have liked the main characters' like relationship more and understood why they liked each other and if, you know, Certain things were just a little bit better. I thought it was a pretty good ending. I didn't think it was slow at all. I think from the very, like when you first opened the book and started for, back into the world, that, you know, I thought it was really good. I didn't, I wasn't bored at all with this one. The second book, oh my God, it suffered definitely for a second, second book syndrome. I mean, that one took me almost like, I don't remember how many pages, but it took me over 200 pages, maybe 300 pages to get into it. I mean, I, like, skipped a lot just to get towards the end. But this one, from the first page to the very end, I was like, okay, cool. But just those little things that I mentioned is why it wasn't one of my top 13, or like I said, trying to make it, make a few more and add this one to it. I just, like, wish I liked the main characters a little bit more. Like I said, I didn't like the ending. I wish it would have been stronger. This didn't, you know. And I wish the, um, 
final battle was longer and it went into more detail. But yeah, I still really loved it. I mean, I thought it started out really strong. If the ending would have been a little bit tighter, like I said, and if I would have cared more for for um, Lily and Cal's relationship, I think it would have been a higher thing. But I love the magic system in this. I I was creeped out by the bad guy in this one. Some of the bad people that are considered bad or at least mortally gray, I still really liked. I love it. Uh, yeah. I love V Swab because she she can make you root for even the most evilest. And if not root necessary, but at least like understand kind of where they're coming from and what led them to be the way they are. You know, you could love to hate her her um you know, her characters. But yeah. And when you like a character that you shouldn't like, that means something. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people love the Darklin Tate, for example, but I can't stand the Darklin. I don't see, like, I don't understand why he's the way he is and stuff. But this one, I understand, like, I forget what his name is. Um, um, Holland? No, I don't know his name. But the one guy that was in the first book. I think his name was Holland, right? But anyway, it's him. Like, I could understand, like, where he was coming from. And I felt bad for him because of the history. I don't want to go into it. But, yeah. Like, I was rooting for him anyways. And the twins, I couldn't stand them. But I could understand why they were the way they were. And the one that was in this book, I forget his name. But the baddie in this one I thought was pretty cool. He wasn't my favorite bad person ever, but he wasn't the worst. Yeah. One more. Nevermore. I can't wait to read the next one. I have it, and I'll probably be reading it in the next few months. But this one, Harry Potter without really being Harry Potter. You know what I mean? Like, it, like I said in my wrap-up. They have Jupiter North or however, I think that's his last name. I freaking love him. He's so funny. Of course, I love Dumbledore more, but this guy is a pretty good guy. I mean, I love like that he wanted to sponsor Morgan. I liked a lot of the things he said to her when she thought that, you know, she was cursed and stuff. I like the world build. I like the characters. At first, I didn't like the one character. I think he was John or something like that. It was Jupiter's nephew or something. I don't know if he was a nephew or a grandson or whatever. But anyways, he something did to, to him. I didn't like him at first, but I started loving him. I thought he was cute and funny later on. I really loved Hath Hathroy. How do you say his name? I love the magic system in here. I like the tr uh, like the little little things they got to do in order to become whatever it is. I forget what it's called. To be um, in the wondrous society, you know, because only so many people get picked to be in that. And I liked, you know, how everything tied up. I thought it was a very interesting ending, and it ended. Kind of on a cliffhanger, but yet yeah, where you're satisfied until you read the next one. Yeah, it was just a really good book. It was Harry Potter without being Harry Potter. Because it's not Harry Potter. But you know what I mean. It just has that magical feel. Like, the magic is like my favorite magic since Harry Potter world. I just love this magic so much. I love the... um. It's like a hotel that he lives in. I love that. I love like how they get to one place to the next. You know, from like her world to this new world that she's in. I loved like how from the moment he was in the, Jupiter was in the um, book. Like right from when he 
popped in. He was so awesome. I loved like how he he handled certain things like with the parents or with the father and the stepmother. I loved that. I thought that scene was funny. Um, yeah, I just thought it was a really, really good book. I think that if I would have made a top 14 out of for in, out of any of these ones, this would have made the 14. Yeah. This one was, at, I said it was no particular order, but actually, out of all of them, this was my absolute favorite. And then Stranger Dreamer, even though it didn't get as high of a rating as some of these other ones. Yeah. If you ask me, like, which three I was the most tempted to put into, to add into my favorites and give it, you know, have 14 instead of 13, would be, well, actually, it would be four. There would, it would be this one, this one, this one, and, of course, Stranger Dreamer. These would have been the four that I would have been the most tempted to to put in my favorite of the year just didn't quite make it but these would be the top four that I would have added in if I would have made top 17 yeah but yeah I hope you guys like this I know it was another long video but be prepared because tomorrow it'll be an even longer video when I do my favorites of the year yeah I'm gonna let you guys go because I am so tired I was going to read today, and I didn't read anymore since I finished, um, what was it that I finished? Oh, <laughs> one of my favorite books, and I just, my mind went blank. Skyward. Yeah. I think it's because I finished that Skyward, and I'm like, do I really want to read anything today after reading such a fantastic book? I was afraid maybe if I went into a book right away after that, that it would make me go into a reading slump. So, maybe tomorrow I'll read. We'll see. Otherwise, I probably won't start until the beginning of the year. But yeah, that is it, you guys. Let me know some of the books that didn't quite make your favorites. Did you read any of the books that... That, you know, that I just mentioned or showed you? Uh, did some of them make your top if you did read it? Or did some of them... Make your least favorite. You know. Do you, you know, just give me what you think. And, yeah. If anybody wants a buddy read, um, what's it called? Winderson, Win Wander, Wander, Smith, how do you say it? If anybody wants to read, like, re read that one with me in the next couple of months. I was thinking about maybe reading it in February or March. Let me know. We could buddy read it. But, yeah. That is it. Uh, let, is anybody um, excited for King of Fools or whatever it's called? The Asian, you know, the Manda Foodie one that comes out. I think it comes out on mine and my husband's anniversary, I believe, April 30th. Yeah. So. Yeah. That is it. I hope you guys all have a good night. Um, if you like this video, remember to like it um, or thumbs up, whatever you want to call it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel, please. And remember, if you do, to hit the bell icon so you'll know whenever a video of mine is being uploaded or is uploaded. And if you ever need anybody to talk to, I am here. If you have any ever, if you ever any, if you ever have any questions for me, leave leave it down below and I'll answer it. And that is it. I love you guys all so much. I hope you have a good night, morning, afternoon, whatever the case may be where you're at. And if it's bedtime, pleasant dreams. Have a good night. Let me know down below what you're currently reading. Or if you're going to be like me and maybe not re try, maybe not read until next year. Or at least give it a day or two before you read again. Let me know what you think about reading. I have two books I'm thinking about reading. And tomorrow I might do a, um, like, a chapter. Like, try a chapter. 
chapter one that I did a few months back on the two that I'm thinking about reading and then decide from there. But yeah, that is it. I love you guys all so much, like I just said. I hope you guys, like I said, have a great night and that you guys have a good New Year's if I if you guys don't watch this video watch any more videos from me until next year. And that's it. Mwah! Bye night.